This time in the fifth gear lockup, we've got a £25,000 Volvo S60. While you might expect Volvo to be desperate to tell us how safe it is, the manufacturer's actually calling it the naughty Volvo, the most stylish, sportiest car it's ever made. So, naughty but nice, or just plain bad. Well, it certainly looks up for it with its thrusting front end, muscular shoulders, a coupe roofline, and some additional bling if you fancy. Just the sort of thing to tempt you away from a BMW M3 or Audi A4. And of course, there are enough safety features to keep the world's health and safety departments happy for a long time. It has sensors that tell you if there's something in your blind spot, if you wander over a white line, and by monitoring your movement and your driving style, it will even tell you if it thinks you're tired. I might as well have a wife sat alongside me. But we've seen this technology before, so what else can it offer? It's fitted with a system called pedestrian detection with full auto brake, and it will slam on the brakes if a pedestrian walks out in front of you. It works via a radar in the grille and a camera behind the rear view mirror, and it's so sensitive that it can detect pedestrians on the pavement, and it can tell when they're going to step out in front of you, even before they have. <laughs> This calls for some testing. My assistant will place one of my special pedestrian friends into the path of the car, and I'll pretend I haven't seen it. The car should stop. The system works most efficiently at under 21 miles an hour, so here goes. Oh, under 21, just steady on the throttle. Steady on the throttle. The man's in front of me, it's beeping, it's beeping. Oh, it braked! Oh, flashing red lights and it braked to a halt. Fantastic. Just dip the clutch, my man is saved. Under 21 miles an hour, the Volvo can bring itself to a complete halt. When you're going even faster, the system will still slow the car as much as possible to reduce injuries. So oh, it's safe, but let's not forget, this is supposed to be the naughty Volvo. Which is why I want to play a fun, slightly naughty game called Tiff Dodgems. I've set up this slalom course to see if the S60 is as sporty as it claims. A similarly priced BMW 3 Series would be in its element face with an agility test like this, but will the Volvo be as happy? Its five-cylinder turbo diesel engine has just over 200 brake horsepower, and it'll hit 60 miles an hour in 7.4 seconds. It'll also hit Tiff at 146, if I ask it to. Tiff Dodgems, here we go. Round the first one, into the second. The steering, not quite as fluid as I would have liked. Very little body roll, good grip. This Volvo is a good handling car, but it's not as involving as the eternally excellent BMW 3 Series. And as much as I am having fun with this new game, the S60 isn't a naughty enough companion and leaves me feeling a bit flat like him. So, all you need to know about the Volvo S60 is this. It looks great and is incredibly safe. But in terms of real sportiness, the BMW 3 Series is still some way ahead.